Good morning everybody in Calais, France. Good morning. And look, I've about to put my actual hat on my actual head. It's blooming freezing out here, look at it. It's like winter. It's, what's it, the 30th of May. May? And it's absolutely freezing. I've just walked over to pay our dues and it is freezing. Oh dear. Anyway, we're now going to head to the boat. Well, it's a little bit chaotic here this morning in Calais. We've been in the, the uh, holding area for 15 minutes and we've just been pulled forward into this lot, heading towards the scanner. I think it's gonna be a long job. I think it's gonna be a late breakfast, if any, don't you, now at this rate. Right, it's taken us um, 55 minutes from when we got into the port to getting a number to go to the scanner. And all the soft-sided stuff which goes down each side of you just flying through like there's no hold up. It's a bit unfair really, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's frustrating. You're sitting, oh there we go, number two. You're sitting um, in a queue down here and you're seeing stuff coming off, off the motorway and they're coming up beside you and going straight through. It's just so unfair, isn't it? Oh, this, this, is this two? Is it? That's two because that's one. This one's shut. Oops. Is it two? This, look, that one's one, oh, no. this one's two, and that one's shut. Oh, no. Not that. Can't look there, so it's shut. So is it. We leave all the mistakes in. We've gone through the scanner and we've now been sitting waiting to get to the French window check in for 12 minutes. This it's just unbelievable, isn't it? It's just, and they've got all idiots coming from the left-hand side in now, hoping to push in, because the, the soft siders go around the outside of everything, and they they aren't a winner anyway, because they fly around everything. Now they want to push into where we are. And that's taking us now, hour and thirty-five minutes, and we're not even at the French window yet. We've not turned a wheel now for eighteen minutes, and you've now got one, two, three four, five, six, seven, hoping to push in from the soft-sided lanes. I wish I'd gone one over now, then you don't get in that bloody predicament. On the, it's because we're on the outside lane, they think they can all push in. It's just a joke. He's sitting here, look, and it's now, what we've been, hour and three quarters to get in. We haven't even got a ticket yet, have we? Crap. At last, we're going to get to the window. That's taken us just over 40 minutes from the scanner shed, which only, should only take a few minutes at the most. I don't know what a bloody game is here. Shut it every time. Yeah, and it just disappear, look. Come on, get the window open. God's oh. sake. There's no, trailer. there isn't a trailer isn't number. Right. No trailer number. The registration. What is that registration, Ange? D something. MD four one six six. MD four one six six. The load is 2,700, one car. 
This is what's taking bloody all the time. If we come through with a UK trailer, it'd be just the same as the registration on the truck. No, this is why it's taking so long. No, it hasn't. No, it's just this bloody window, isn't it? Miserable bloody woman. Ugh. Twelve forty-five. Jesus Christ. How long has this taken so far? Two hours and ten bloody minutes. And we're not even to bloody UK border control. Just look. That's breakfast done then. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to ask this bloke what's going on here if he's reasonable. Yeah, I'll stick it in a windscreen. I shall ask him what, what's going on here this morning. Yeah. There's that green Renault, look. Joe. Morning. Morning. Not so good. I was better until I got to Calais Port. Why is it so slow this morning? Any idea? We had trouble getting out. We should have been here. Did you really? It's crazy. Yeah. Well, it's just taken us 45 minutes from the shed to that last. Yeah, to the French. There she is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your thing's down. I'm going to be train right now. Train? That's not good, is it? No. no. Oh. Really, yeah. Uh, so it's chaos all round then, really, mate. Sometimes it's so easy, yeah. though, isn't it? Is it mad over there as well? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh, well. Alright mate, have a good day. Yeah, See you later. Bye, thank you. He wasn't really interested, was he? Right. Yeah, he didn't give us an answer, but he was, he was alright. Yeah. He's had trouble getting over to work because obviously they got to come from the UK. And he's just told us it's absolute chaos over there as well. So that's taken us um, two hours, ten minutes to get through. Was it 5.02? Two hours, bloody ten minutes. Sometimes it's so quick. That's the breakfast bloody done, isn't it? We got, how long we got to wait for this bloody trip boat now? What? Quarter to one? Oh, for God's sake, it's, it's only bloody 10 o'clock. We've got to wait till quarter to one. 12.45. What is that bloody game? Oh, jeez. State of him in his hair. Oh, where's she sending us? God, is another bloody French. Or is she just... Bonjour. Okay. Another bloody queue. I don't know. Look. 502. Bloody stupid. There's that green bloody Irish again. made our own lane though. Oh, I don't get excited. Oh this is absolutely crazy isn't it? We're now queuing to get to 500. The 500 numbers. Oh. Never had this before. We normally just go straight on our lanes don't we? Where do we go out of here? How do we get out of here then? There? 
I ain't got a clue where we go from here because it's just nowhere. I really don't know what's going on here today. We've been put into an area that I've never been in before. You normally go straight to your, your lane, don't you? Absolutely ridiculous. And it's a it's a dead end, look. There's, you can't go out and... Because that goes back the other way. You can't go out that way because that's against the grain. We must be turning around and going back again. What has happened to this place today? So that's definitely our breakfast done, isn't it? That's our early finish done. Yeah. All because of the bloody port. But the train's no better. I don't know about the train. I don't know. I don't know. The train looked all right on the Google Maps. It don't give you, you know, a sort of fair view of it, does it? Oh, this is the worst it's been, isn't it, for us? I know people have had it worse out on the motorway, but it's just ridiculous. I said, so you heard, I said to the bloke on the window, and he don't know. Right, we've now been sitting in this poxy holding area for an hour and 28 minutes. The truck that checked in in the window on the other side of where we checked in, I watched him go across the port, sat there for about 20 minutes and straight on a boat. So he's halfway across the channel to the UK now. And P&O Freight, ferries or whatever you want to call themselves, are telling us it's because it's, it's high volumes of traffic. That's just unfairness. And the high volumes of traffic are being caused because the French aren't doing their job. They're holding us for 45 minutes between the scanner and their, their passport check. They're causing the problem. It's not the high volumes isn't because it's high volumes of trucks. There's high volumes because they're not getting in here because they're not processing it quick enough. But when you sit here and watch boats board it, trucks boarding boats and going, and they're telling us it's because of high volumes. It's not, it's just totally unfair. They haven't got a system, they ain't got a clue what they're bloody doing, have they? No, they don't seem to have because it one of the windows was really fast, the window that yeah. he was at, the guy that's gone. That's gone. And our window just didn't seem to move. No. Like the woman was ages oh, doing it. she was useless. And they shut the window in between each time. Bloody rude. But if everybody boarded in turn, I could, I could suck up the delay. But when you see people coming in, they're all going in and in lanes and going on boats. And we've got to sit here. Right, we're finally moving. That's two hours twenty from when we um, arrived in this holding area, which is totally unacceptable. I know it's not P&O's fault, they don't control the port, but it's just, it could be drivers running out of hours. There should be another person up here in case anybody tries to go. There shouldn't be one bloke controlling it. He, ju look, he jumped He's the queue jumped outside. Yeah. This Rum Rumsey and son, he jumped the queue, look, and he's got, I oh, know he's had to wait as long as us, but he's, he's still, still going on first. He come down the, the soft side, didn't he? Yeah. Bloody queue jumpers. So we're gonna be ever so late back now. We're gonna, so we plan to have breakfast on the boat this morning, have a little break on the way back. But now we're gonna be straight off the boat. We've gotta go straight back, deliver. I wanted to sort the truck out. Do sorts of do things, fill me ad blew up, but now it's all rush, rush, rush again because of this bleeding lot, isn't it? We still haven't eaten. No, we've had nothing to eat today because of all this bloody lot. We've had two, well, a cup of tea and a cup of coffee, that's all we've had. Crazy. Yeah, we are treated like rubbish in this game. Look, we don't matter. Nothing matters. No. Oh, well, it's, it's 500 up here then. I suppose it is where these are going, aren't it? So would you? Oh, yeah. Oh. Look at it. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, isn't it? 
It's always bloody fish, isn't it? We're just saying, we've missed our breakfast and it's now half past 12. And they ain't going to be doing breakfast, are they? I don't want to go on there and have bloody fish and everything and chips. It's cute. They'll all be eating piles of fish and chips, won't they? You know they are. There's going to be a scrum for all the toilets because everybody's been sitting around for two odd bloody hours. Yeah, I know there is. Yeah. I'm not going to rush into the driver's area. No. I think I'm going to rush into the toilet. Yeah, area I'll, go into, I'll go into one of the normals, I think. Yeah, we're going to one of the normals toilets, not the driver's ones. Yeah, yeah but I can't go in there, can I? No, you have to duck under yeah. the thing. There's obviously something wrong with lanes 500 and something. That's why we were dumped in that holding area. We shouldn't have had that number anyway. Well, no, perhaps they're, all those numbers they're putting on the, off of this dock, aren't they? Aye. Right. But it still don't explain while we see two sailings of vehicles go that are here before, after us. Or beside yeah. us. Yeah, or beside us. Just, they can say as much as they like, it's volume. No, it's fairness. God, look at this, bloody steep. Oh, look how steep this is. This is ridiculous, level it off, man. Look at it. He's sitting there fiddling around with his phone. This bloke in there, look, he's yeah, fiddling with his bleeding there. phone. Just level it off. Oh. Let's stop with the last on this end then, haven't we? Mm -hmm. That's right, nobody's going to hit us with our doors. With their doors, I mean. Doors. Got a nice bit of room here. That'll do. Thank God for that. Right, back in good old Blighty. We always say that. I know, oh, well, we are, aren't we? Not quite. Not quite. Just coming off the boat in Dover. Yes, lots of them. It's up past one, so we're not going to be back to half one, half two, half three, half four, five o'clock. Oh, always up against it, aren't we? But it could have been worse. Yes, at least we didn't go to Brussels because we wouldn't have got over tonight. We might have we run out of time. Wouldn't. We wouldn't have got home. Wouldn't have had tomorrow off because I'm open from the loo day tomorrow. Nobody's <laughs> mentioned that yet. When they say. Oh, I'm doing this tomorrow. No, I'm no, not. I'm having my loo day. Gonna be on the loo. I'm going to be on the cars here all day, look. Well, I hope not. <laughs> Fly by night. Da, da, da. I hope it's more level going off than it was coming on. It wasn't very level, was it? Yeah. Good. Go on then, dung heap, off you go. Dung heap. Oh, that's alright, that's a bonus, I suppose. Let's jack it back. Jack it up. Nice to be back. Eight days. Uh, yeah, all right. It's more, more, more like a rubbish somewhere we've got to contend with, isn't it? seen so many car idiots on there. It's just mad, wasn't it? 
Yeah, you keep to the right. What an event that was. Isn't it? Yeah. When we get out when we get out of this we've got a bit of a story to tell you. There's always something going on, isn't there? Oh god. I you know, think you attract it. Well you've got to <laughs> highlight issues. Otherwise those issues may not get addressed. They won't get addressed, but if you never highlight anything, you have to put up with poor quality all the time. It's a genuine thing. Which poor is. service. It was a genuine complaint. More about it later. Yes, we'll talk about that once we get out of this and get sorted. Once we're on the way, we'll have a little chat about it. Well, that's a French, that BMW, yeah. look. Oh, and that Volvo, look. And this one here, look, this Clio. Yeah, it's a French bank holiday, so... They come over and clog our roads up. taking a long weekend, take tomorrow. Yes. After 500 yards, it's turn left, well. then follow the road to the left. There's still no excuse for a five-hour bloody wait in Calais. Uh, something must have happened. Yes. Look at them all, I've never seen so much traffic coming off the boat. All those bikes down there. Yeah. We kept seeing them. Yeah. Some there must be some Hell's Angels thing, some big bike event. event going on. We've seen them all up through France, various places. Now turn left, then follow the road to the left. Who's Dutch? He's Dutch. Where is he? Whoa, oh, what an idiot. Ger he, he was almost not German. He wasn't. Then turn right. Yeah, he nearly ended up not German. Brown bread. Yes, look at it. We've seen these. This one with the white one at the back. We've seen them all the way up through France, haven't we, yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. What an idiot. There's lots of Frenchies and Germans and Dutch. Germans and yeah, look, what's that one? That's a French. Why do they want to come over here? <laughs> They've got empty roads over there. Stay in your own country, you're mad. Don't, <laughs> it's lovely over there. That's it. Don't come and clog our roads up even more. Enjoy your freedom and your own country. God. These look foreign on these bikes. No, they've got these Dutch looking type bikes, these foreign bikes down here. You can't see that because they're off camera. But why would they want to come into a mayhem of the UK? I don't understand it. Oh, it does fit, isn't it? I can't believe we had to have the night here on last night. Well, not all night, just while we were sitting, wasn't it? Yeah, it was pretty chilly. Yeah. They don't have to come over here. Right? Look at the chaos. It's like being back in France looking over there, isn't it? <laughs> you know, all Frenchies look. Look at them all. It's Dutch. Dutch are the only yeah. ones with the yellow number. It's yeah. like ours. Customs are having, look, they're having a field day over there, look. Customs, all the old jackets are out, look. Rubbing their hands. Yeah, look at them, look. They've got all them, them Owl's Angels coming through in a minute, look. Mm -hmm. Yes, look at them, all the officials over there. We really haven't seen so much um, activity. It's weird. Can you put the wedge in, please? When I say wedge, guys, we put a wedge under the fridge to stop stop it rattling. Especially, especially when it gets empty. Yeah? Oh, oh, they dragged oh. a few in there. Look, having a kite under up under the cab. 
looking for his magnet. Normally when we get out here, in the past year or so, we're having had a trailer on, I just get on the outside of this lot and race off, don't I? It's it's gonna be a, normally anybody in front, isn't it? No. I'll, no, as soon as you get out of this bit here, I'll get on the outside lane and whoosh, I'm gone, isn't it? it might be a bit oh, harder yeah. with the trailer. Oh, we have, oh, I thought I'd left a trailer on the boat. <laughs> just leave it there. What's this off of? Where's the off of? Where's that? Slovakia. Slovakia. I think there's more foreigners coming off that boat than there is UK or something. And there's buses on there. Yeah, Coaches it's full of them. Yeah. Cliff Court Hotel. Right. You want to get your Cliff Court? I want to get my Cliff Court at all. It's very misty out in the channel. Warm. Should we put the hair con on for a little while? I'm going to take this off. You said to me when I took my fleece off, you think it's going to get warmer? You were right. Yes, it's got warmer. Oh, I can't get moving because I want to get on the outside lane and go whoosh. What with the trailer? Yeah, I don't know. Because all this lot will dither around in. in in the inside. All these blinking bikes. Oh, they come on, Slovak, or whatever your name is. I my Slovak would be a bit fast. Yeah, I don't know how he wants to go, look. Oh, now we got a bloody red light. <laughs> oh, if he had a look on his phone and everything, look. Put your phone down, that's the law in the UK, Mr. Slovak. Put your phone down. Phone down. Used to drive no. on this side. Yeah. Good. Yes, phone down. down, it's the law. God's sake. We've arrived safely. Yes. Bang. Do that on your on the boat before you get off. You see it all though, when you come off the boat they're either doing yeah, paperwork paper. or they're on their phones. If it just had nearly two hours on the boat to do all that, and I. Now, the boat. I'm sure you'd like to hear about this. So we told you before we went on, we'd miss breakfast because of the bloody great hold up. Um, so we, and we said we don't want a bloody great pile of chips and fish and all that, like all that other lot. Out. It's just too much because we want our dinner tonight, don't we? It's all pie and stuff yeah. like that. Isn't it? Don't want all that in the middle of the day. Unless you've started your day at two or three in the morning, perhaps you might want a meal then and just go and park up somewhere after. But anyway, that's not the point. So we thought we'd have some soup of the day. We saw that on there, 149 each. Well, that'd do, wouldn't it? It's not breaking the bank. So it goes up to the bloke behind the counter. I said, what's the soup of the day, mate? He said, I think it's mushroom. I've <laughs> never seen a mushroom in its life. No. Anyway, so we have to dish it out ourselves. So we have two, nearly three ladles of that in a soup bowl. I said, oh, where's the bread rolls? Oh, there ain't no. The ship has just docked. You've got a new lot of customers coming on. And they got no bloody bread rolls for the soup. Oh, we got bread. Yeah, they've only got that horrible white sliced bread that's got no taste and is absolutely vile that any, most of them eat anyway, but it's, it's just rubbish. Well, they eat it because that's all they provide. Yeah, that's it. But we wanted a bread roll. We've had a bread roll, haven't we? I'll bet the normals downstairs would have had bread rolls, don't you? That's, that's, what, that's what I've got at the counter. I said, why is there no bread rolls? Oh, we haven't been in the stores to stock up. I said, I bet the bloody normals have got them downstairs, didn't I? So that was that. 
quite, he knew I wasn't happy, so he, he, just, sort of shrugged his he just went quiet. He thought, oh, I can't remember. Yeah, anyway, he went quiet and I paid the money and so. So we sit down, sat down, and, 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 and it was quite a nice soup, really. It was all right. It was, there was meat in it, and I've never had meat in mushroom soup. No. So if you're a veggie, you'd be stuffed, wouldn't you, really? Yeah. Well, yeah, if you think you're having mushroom soup and you get something with meat in it, you'd be around it. Really. But it was not. It was all right. It was all right. It was, it was warm some enough. Vegetable and some ham in it. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, that's that. And I, I sort of spoke pretty loud at the table so everybody could hear me. Oh, there's a bloody ministry here, look. Yeah, you don't need to stop asking, mate. But you might do, because we've got a German plate on the back. Oh, yes. We've got all that, haven't we? Um, so anyway, that's that. So I thought, we're not even going to attempt the vile coffee, because we've done it before, and it's just vile, isn't it? It's awful. Yeah. It's so, like mud, isn't it? Oh, I've never tasted it. Even that thing we had in the services was better than that. So um, we thought we'd swerve that and we'd go and get a Starbucks downstairs, which is just under three quid each. So that's that. I'll find a chance my arm. I'll show the, 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 the um, Route Master card. Hopefully, get a discount. So, there, mate, the drivers get a discount because the coffee's up there so bloody vile we can't drink it. No. That was it, wasn't it? <laughs> Sorry, no. That was the attitude. Shrugged the shoulders. That was the end of that comp. Look at the lights in the back of that. Yeah, yeah look. Yeah, I'll leave it this way. You don't want to see us all the time. Look at the lights. Look at that. That's pretty, isn't it? So anyway, that was that. So we get some... What's everybody stopping for? Slam your brakes on. So anyway, um, we goes, but we tries to find somewhere quiet in the normals lounge. But the boat's so busy, there's just nowhere. It's really, really busy. That's it. There's nowhere. There's traffic coming up. Yeah. Absolutely nowhere to sit. So he goes back up in the driver's lounge. Well, it's nice and peaceful up there. There's drivers having their sleep and their rest after after their food. Um, so that was that. We're sitting there and thought, well, someone's had a good win on the machine, didn't we? Yeah. All this clank, clank, clank. Rattle, 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 rattle. rattle, rattle. And this is going on for about five minutes. What's going on over there? It wasn't the bloody someone winning. It was the bloody machine woman, the company who owns the gaming machines on board, emptying the machines, the takings. And this went on for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. It wasn't just rattling, it was, it was a bag as bang, well. Bang, bang, clatter, 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 clatter. And then she's breaking all this money out of the box at the bottom. And all the blokes that were sort of half asleep, having a rest, were all, what, what's yeah. going on, you know, getting up yeah. and looking. Well, there's loungers on board and the drivers are having a kip. You know, yeah. they've been working hard. Some of them might have started in the middle of the night. And because we've been delayed five hours as well, they're more likely getting to the end of their shift. So any, anyway, everybody's looking for, I'm not having this. I'm going to go and have a word with her. So I walks up behind her and she's counting out all these ten pound notes. I say, excuse me. She immediately slaps her both her hands on the top of these piles of notes. I think I'm going to mug her. I think. I said it's okay. I've got my hands in my pockets. Well, that went down like a lead balloon. I said, but excuse me. Don't you think you should do that when the boat docks while people are going off and then the, the ship's reloading? Well, I can't, I've got to do the whole ship. I said, well, yeah, do the whole ship while it's sailing, but do this bit when it's not. Well, I just got a load of gob off of her, yeah. didn't I? Well, that's what I have to do. When do you suggest I do it? And that's what I said, wasn't it? Yeah. While it's in yeah. port. Because you said, these guys are having a rest. They're all asleep. Mm. A lot of them are asleep. Yeah. And you've just woken everybody up, basically. She didn't care, did she? No. I said, well, there's going to be sleepy truck drivers on our roads now, potentially having an accident. Yeah, because you've woken them all up and they're all agitated. Yeah. But she didn't care. She carried on. So that was that. And then she kept giving me looking round, didn't she? And then she started doing the, other, the second machine. Look at this idiot. Look, I'm indicating, pal. Um, 
Yeah, then she started doing the next one. That's all right, he's French. <laughs> and then she go, she came over to us, and she said, if you want to complain, go down to information. And I said, yeah, I'm going to, don't worry. Thanks for that. It was the attitude she oh, was disgusting. speaking to us with. And we, were, we weren't speaking nasty. No. Like she was vile. She said, I don't work for P&R. I said, I don't care. You're contracted on here to put the gaming machines in. You should be under P&O's blooming rules, and, rules and, and regulations. Drivers are trying to sleep. So anyway. So um, I hope you don't get wiped out in your car on the way home. Yeah, or she wasn't bothered. Yeah. And then she went and gassed off with some bloke in the in the um, restaurant, telling him obviously that I'm going on. I didn't hear her, and she went off somewhere else and then disappeared. Didn't she? So we went downstairs and complained. Well, we didn't complain, we just brought it up with the guy in information. He's going to pass it on to his manager. Hopefully. He said she comes on every Thursday and empties their machines. I said, well, you need to plan it so that she's in the driver's lounge when it's changing over. Simple. It's enough time to do yeah. it Because that rail went on for about 20, 25 minutes, didn't it? At least 20 minutes yeah, that good. rail was going on. So that's long enough while it's in port on changeover to do those machines. Well, hopefully, now they will take it on board. Sorry, the pun. Hey. But her attitude stunk. We've all got a job to do, she's got a job to do. But don't wake drivers up that are bloody resting. So blowing your horn in the in the lorry, lorry parks, parks. It's all that sort of thing. It's, it's a total thoughtless yeah. selfishness, isn't it? Again, consideration. Yeah. And this is why I'll get knocked a lot because I'll bring these issues up, hoping that people might just think a little bit. But I'll get slated for bringing it up, saying I'm moaning all the time. Well, you might want, you might be quite happy to put up with bad standards and noise and all that when it could an be attitude. avoided. An attitude when it could be avoided. But you may benefit from me going and complaining or bringing an issue up that gets resolved. So you may be benefiting from that and not even knowing it. Yeah. Or people like me bringing the subject up that they may not have realised that it's a problem and it gets resolved. Hopefully. Hopefully. So anyway, that's enough of that and I yeah. think um, we've gone over that. So, so that's our fantastic time in Calais and on board the P&O ferry to Dover. Yeah. Must be one of the worst we've had, isn't it? Yeah, it's Awful day. It's taken us from entering Calais port to getting off at Dover just short of seven hours. Which is unacceptable, isn't it? I know some people have been stuck out on the A16 and on the 26 when it was all kicking off, but we were in the port and it's taken seven hours. 45 minutes from the scanner to French border control, which is unacceptable. Anyway, that's that. That then, isn't it? It looks like <laughs> it, yeah. Look, 
and we're not in the truck. It's actually the next day. And look, I've had a shave and all. Mm. He's got a chin back. Because there was a little bit of catastrophe last night, wasn't there? <laughs> Another one. Oh, yesterday was a, just a blooming pain in one, wasn't it? Five hours in Calais, then all that lot going on on the boat. And when we got back to the yard, it was so chaotic because it was, it was getting towards the end of the working day and out of door, my business had to do with work and then we had to empty the truck and there were distractions with other people. Distractions? Distractions. Distractions <laughs> with people coming up to us and talking and wanting to do all that. Yeah. So the time we got home, it was eight o'clock, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes. Uh, so we unloaded the car, all our wine, our bags, our recycling, washing. dirty washing and all that. I thought, oh, where's my bag? I'd only left it in the bloody truck, hadn't I? And it's Friday today. I've got my, my bank holiday. I worked last bank holiday Monday. I've got today off to compensate for it. And it had, the, had this camera in it. So oh I go God. all the way back to work, that's a 50 mile round trip. And by the time I got home last night, back again last night, it was quarter to ten. Yeah, about that. It was quarter to ten and sat oh, down. We hadn't eaten. We, had, we hadn't eaten all day. Well, we had that <laughs> bloody had that soup. soup, whatever that soup was on the boat. But we didn't stop for a break. We didn't stop at Clackett Lane. Didn't stop Lane. anywhere. We had to come straight back to, to get back by half past four to get unloaded and do what we had to do because otherwise if we'd stopped um it would have just been too late it's that bit later yeah. isn't it so anyway that's it so we had to eat we had fish and chips at 10 o'clock at night 10 o'clock last night didn't we and so i was just totally exhausted i couldn't finish the vlog last night i was just wasn't that for anything really was Falling i asleep in the chair oh it's a state and we're trying to catch up on our soaps and stuff and i haven't done any editing yet um, but I've got a long weekend, hopefully I'll crack on some of that later on and tomorrow. Um, but yeah, what a stupid thing to do, we'd unloaded everything at the truck, thought I'd done everything. <laughs> and uh, my, my bag wasn't there with all the bits and pieces in. So that's that. Um, so yeah, it's another exciting yeah. trip. It's not been a good trip though, has it? Sunday was the best. Yeah, a bit awkward, wasn't when, it? When we had our day out in Como, that was our best, our down mm. time, wasn't it? Mm. Um, yeah bit awkward yeah so that's it we're just gonna try and catch up on everything and then um do some editing do some shopping yeah and just trying to recharge our batteries a bit got no bread no milk stuff like absolutely that. knackered i was last night mm. i was hopeless wasn't i mm. that, that's catching up on soaps and he's falling asleep <laughs> yeah i know but that trip just took it out of me because it was quite full on wasn't it quite mm. exhausting all of it took it out of the truck as well yeah uh, so um Right then, so we're going to go guys, and um, thanks for everything, and give us a thumbs up and press that bell button to get your notifications. Hey, and tell your friends to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. It's hard so that's to it. say that. Subscribe. Yeah. But you didn't do a cab thing, did you? No, sorry, I haven't done that cab thing yet because everything was all up in the air yesterday afternoon, but I do promise I will get around to doing a, a cab tour. Yeah, that'll be a very short vlog. <laughs> yeah, that'll be about 30 <laughs> seconds. Anyway, on that bombshell, we're going. Catch yeah. you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.